on stone and glass with sand and spray paint. Two names were added to the shrines at the Virginia War Memorial Thursday. We're very happy when we can do it. Honoring Virginians who've lost their lives in service of this country since the Second World War. One was Staff Sergeant Ben Maxwell of Appomattox. Death toll stands officially right now at more than 70. Killed in the bombing of the U.S. Embassy in Beirut, Lebanon in 1983. The other was for Private First Class Richard Harris of Henrico County, killed in the Korean War in 1951. My understanding of family discussions, he was injured by a mortar fire and then died en route back to the United States. Harris's relatives, including his second cousin, retired Army Colonel Mike Harris, were on hand for the addition. This felt like the right thing to do. Harris says his second cousin was born in Charlotte County before moving to Henrico for work when he was drafted for the Korean War. My mom and dad went on a double date with him the night before he shipped to Camp Breckenridge, and that was almost 70 years ago. War Memorial Director Clay Mountcastle says especially for the older wars, friends and family have pointed out names they believe were missing from the shrines, and the staff work to correct that, as it's critical every name that's deserving be added. Record keeping wasn't always perfect. Uh, when the Virginia War Memorial was first established and dedicated in 1956, uh, there were just a, a number of errors and, and omissions done. And for Harris, even 70 years later, and for a family member he never got a chance to meet, it was a gratifying experience. To see that he was recognized for giving the ultimate sacrifice for his country. Working for you in Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.